Today we're going to take a look at 10 things you probably didn't know about the M4A1 rifle. Now of course the M4A1 rifle is a shorter and lighter version of the M16A2. Fires the 5.56 NATO air-cooled direct impingement gas operated magazine fed carbine. So that's exactly what I'm talking about specifically is the military version of the M4A1 not the civilian versions of the M4 juries the 16 inch versions. Talking specifically about the rifles that can fire the three round burst or full auto. Number one, the M16 had earlier variants of a carbine model. This first early model was designated the CAR-15 or the CAR-15 or the XM177 and it had a 10 and a half inch barrel. Now the problem with this rifle was it was very inaccurate and had huge muzzle flashes. Number two, the CAR-15 stands for Colt Auto Rifles and the CAR-15 was an attempt by Colt to disassociate the AR-15 name from Armalite, the original producer of the M16. Number three, this early car beam was designated the CAR-15 or Colt Commando, and it came in two variants, a 10 and a half inch barrel and 11 and a half inch barrel. Number four, a later variant of the CAR-15, the 605B, was made in 1966. Very similar to the original CAR-15, however, the big difference was it had a 15 inch barrel, but even bigger than that was this was the very first AR-15 to have a burst, three round burst option. Number four, the M4A1 is a shorter, lighter variant of the M16, of course, but what you might not know is that 80% of these parts are interchangeable, but significantly the 20% that are not of those is the buffer spring and weight, barrel and gas tube, and that significantly changes the recoil on this rifle, the M16 is a much, much smoother rifle, much more controllable, much more accurate. Number six, the U.S. Special Operations Command, USS OCOM, developed the Special Operations Peculiar Modifications, or SOP Mod. What this was, was essentially it was an M4A1 rifle with a Knight's Armament handguard and rails, short and quick detached M203 grenade launcher with better sights, a KAC sound suppressor, infrared designator, Trijicon reflex sights and night vision. There was later another model added with EOTech red dot and Daniel defense rails. Number seven, there are currently 10 companies in the world producing the M4A1 rifle for police and militaries. Of those is Colt, Lewis Machine, Bushmaster, U.S. Ordnance, Remington, Thor Global, and Daniel Defense in the U.S and FN Herschel in Belgium, SME Ordnance in Malaysia, and Sarzomaz in Turkey. Number eight, in 2004, Colt fought to keep the trademark name M4, and they filed suit against Bushmaster and Heckler and Koch for trademark infringement. And in 2005, it was dismissed by a district court judge, and the term M4 became a free name that anybody can use. Number nine, there are currently 53 militaries throughout the world using the M4 as their military rifle. And finally, number 10, it is illegal for any civilian to own an M4 fully auto rifle. Since the 1986 amendment of the Firearm Owners Protection Act, which barred the transfer of a machine gun made after May 9th, 1986 to a private civilian. If you happen to have a pre-1986 version of this, you of course can have this model and you can own it as a civilian. And also what that means is if you have a pre-1986 M16A1 lower, you can add a Colt M4 upper. And what you have is anything but by name, a true M4A1, legally owned by a US citizen. So there you go, there's your top 10 list of things you may not have known about the M4A1. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. You can also now find us on Facebook under God, Family, and Guns. But by far, the most important part of this YouTube channel is it is a ministry to us and we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that stuff in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.